This is my attempt to have a good faith conversation with Ryan Morris approximately one year before the arrest for trespassing, obstruction, and littering for the summons they left a few hours prior for another obstruction charge. This is evidence of him arbitrarily enforcing made up rules based on his personal feelings and bias and not the spirit or even the letter of the law. The microphone is connected to the car Bluetooth, so give it a moment and the audio quality will improve. Well, if you want to show me your ass, luckily I titled this recording Cops Gone Wildlife. Obviously, you're living out of here. We just got to help you. You said you just want to talk to us. Yeah. I don't understand that. I, I get that you've had bad experiences with police in the past, I'm imagining. Yeah, I know how I know how us, people... Right? Yeah. That's not us. You will get bit if you reach in here. I'm not reaching in your car. I'm just illuminating your hands for well, my safety. Well, if you get close enough to where she can bite you, that's on you. Okay, that's fine. I'm just illuminating your hands, man. You're in the back of a car reaching around. I'm just doing that for my safety. Nothing else past that, all right? I'm not going inside your car. I'm not going around your car. Nothing like that. Well, if you wanted to be safe, you would fucking retreat back to your vehicle and away okay. from mine. Okay. Ah! It's the car wash sticker. It's not a... Uh, the bin plate. Yeah, that's, down thing, isn't that is? yeah, it's a car wash thing. So that's uh, that's a number for that. If you want to get a little closer, you're free to stick it out the window too, if you'd like. There you go. There you go. Okay. Just checking on where's guy here down there. So you really don't think you're on private property trespassing, huh? Just I didn't say stuff. that. I did. I said I'm not trespassing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to jam the guy up. I mean, I really, I'm not trying. I was hoping just to ask him to move along. I'm not interested in well, he's also got making stuff a he's thing out of down here on this kind of littering, so I want to just tack that onto it. I'm I mean, at this point, we have reason for it. It's just a matter of if you want to. Yeah. I think well, that might be, uh, I don't know. Do what, are you claiming is my litter? We're not, ta I'm, I'm talking to my partner here, all right? If you want to talk, we will, okay? All right. But you mm -hmm. made it clear you don't, you're not interested in doing that. You can keep recording everything. We're just talking. Um, Say you can demand my ID and fail her to do so, they'll arrest me. Alright, so I, I know you don't want to talk to me. I'm going to tell you something. I hope you're listening, okay? Yeah. I got a plan here. I got right. something that I think is a, a very reasonable, fair thing. Fair enough. So, I understand you kind of you kind of don't believe me like you think this is okay. Yeah, I, I don't that. trust you. Right, I get that. There's nothing I can do to, to change that. I mean, I would encourage you, you could even Google the Louisville Municipal Statutes. You can look at the layout of this parking lot and see that it's not the post office, it's St. Church. You can do your research, okay? Because I want you to believe me. I get that you don't. Nothing I can do about that. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for 17 years. I've talked to the owner of Ascent Church. This We've dealt with this issue before. That's why we, when we see people, we ask them to move You around. haven't dealt with this issue. I before. haven't dealt with you. Correct. Correct. So, but that's why we're here. So here's what I'm going to do. So what I'm telling you is, if you wanted to push it, you don't have to believe me. But I'm just telling you, we do have reasonable suspicion articulable reasonable suspicion that's what you well think if you want to if you want to go with that man go for it I, I finish though yeah let me just finish your C, your cit even man come on <laughs> yeah I, I, right now though i'm not really using it i'll be honest i'm yeah. just talking to you yeah. so we have articulate because i honestly i know i get you're not a cit person this is a different you don't know that this is a different thing you don't know that you want me to you want to do that I, I hey we could talk like that too no i, I'm I don't need your help that's what i'm saying 
That's why it's, I'm not doing any CIT with you. I'm just saying, man, it, it's if that's the presumptions you're making and, you know, it, it kind of you're kind of uh, just throwing that training out the window, man. The CIT stuff? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I'll agree with you. Right on. Yeah, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm being honest. I am. So what I'm saying, though, is whether you agree or not, I'm just telling you, we do have articulable, reasonable suspicion that you're committing a crime of trespassing. Actually, even probable cause, which I'm. Guessing, you know, is even higher standard, right? So we have that. You can disagree, but I could write you a trespassing ticket right now. Now, to do that, we've got to have your name and all that, which you're not you probably don't want to provide that or you didn't want to provide that. So there we're in a conundrum because then what we have to do is get you in custody, take you to jail to identify you, to write a ticket for trespassing. I'll be honest with you. I'm not interested in doing all that. That sounds ridiculous. I was hoping just to talk to you and be like, they don't want you staying here. Can you move somewhere else? Usually I tell people some of the places they can go. Hey man, if you wanted to talk to me and be reasonable, like I said, I won't stay here. It's no problem. I just, I got business. I got legitimate business here. Okay. And I'm handling my business, man. So, well, let me, you don't have to answer. I'm going to ask you. You can not answer if you want. Is that business require you to stay here overnight? Or no. Can you come back in the morning? No. Yeah. I, I, I can okay. finish my business here tonight. It's open 24 seven. Oh, it's something you can. Okay. I, I thought you meant like you had to talk to somebody at the post office. No. My bad. No worries. So my whole goal was just to ask you to move along. That's it. So we got off to a bad start and that I kind of felt like that wasn't an option. So I was going to talk to you about. Look, if you want to press it, there's this whole this whole process. But honestly, out of you, me, and my partner and your dog, none of the four of us want to do that. Yeah. So I was just going to say, can you just move along and I'll give you my business card. Right on, man. I'll take a business card, but uh, and, and I'm happy to move along. But <laughs> yeah, I, if you want to have a, you know, a more intellectual conversation about my position and my standing, you know, I'm happy to do that with you. But if you want to get aggressive with me and try and threaten me with arrest and shit like that, it's not going to go anywhere, you know. Can I ask you something yeah. for me? Sure. What is it that I said or did at the beginning that that made you feel the way you're talking about right now? Because I thought I was just like, hey, how's it going? I didn't think I was being aggressive at all. Uh, so yeah, what, I, I, I guess it would be that you feel entitled to my person's papers, places, things, or whatever, you know, for your benefit. And, you know, so if you do get the name, you know, that's going to put you in a trustee position and with a fiduciary obligation. And it's all trust law, man, if you want to really get into it. And, you know. In that realm, I'm just I'm in the realm of reality under God. And, you know, I just have. I have to stand my ground for who and what I am. And when you got aggressive with wanting to feel well, entitled to my tags or whatever, I asked you to close the uh, tailgate. Yeah, because you wanted to you wanted to identify me. And and if you honestly, if you were being cool and and from my perspective reasonable, I would have been happy to you know let you run my name through the computer through the CAD system or whatever. Okay, you know. And, so it was asking the tailgate thing is where you think it started to go south? Yeah, it's just like you, you tried to assert yourself as an authority over me. And at best, we're equals, you know. We're we're on the same plane. And if you want to lower yourself below that, you can't elevate yourself above me or else you'd be claiming the position of God and that wouldn't have any standing. So Actually, I agree with everything you're saying except for one thing. Right. I, there's no... Um, it's not me. I don't think I have any authority over you. I'm there's, you know, we're a nation of laws and things like that. So I think the laws apply to all of us, right? Me too. So I don't think I have any authority over you. It's not a you, I thing. Yeah. That's the only part I disagree with what you said. I get you're saying you, as a cop, you were, you had authority over me. You felt like that. Okay. I, you know, sorry. Well, about what that. did you mean by, I don't, I can't 
cite you exactly, but what did you mean by, well, we can go this way or whatever? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because, again, I've done this before, and when someone, when I'm like, hey, how's it going, man? What's going on? And and then they, you know, like, I'm not going to, like, I, you weren't, like, talking to me, and you weren't answering me, and, and then I saw, like, you had some stuff covered. I'm like, oh, I know what's going on here. He's, he wants to, he wants to, like, spar. Maintain his privacy. Yeah. No, I don't want to spar with you. you I, 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 look, man, I, I'm peaceful. I come in peace. Yeah, you're too nice. you're I, I'm too no nice. threat. I don't want to fight with you guys. I will conditionally accept any offer you make, even if it's an arrest and the benefits of throwing me in jail. I don't want to do all that. Yeah, right. I don't want to do that either. I've been through it. But if that's the, the way I have to go to stand on truth and what's true and right, then, then that's the way I'll go. But, you know, honestly, you, you didn't articulate something that I was doing wrong. Okay. You know, you, you're trying to enforce this trespass. And, you know, you say you had reasonable, articulable suspicion and even probable cause. And, and so, you know, I, I strongly disagree with that because I do study the law and I do know my standing and my position and who and what I am. And so, you well, know, I, I'll bite. Like, go ahead and correct me. How is how is it that? You think so? Do you not think? Do you agree this is private property? We agree uh, on yeah, that? I, I would say that this is probably private right? property. Okay. I don't know who's. Uh, you know, I I would even give you the benefit of the doubt to say that you could you have the authority to act as a guardian for the for the property owner or whatever. Right. You know, so I I would even maybe venture to say because I know it's in the realm of possibilities that you have the authority to enforce trespass without you know getting their complaint be based on some prior agreement but yeah we do that because we don't know if somebody's like hey it's private property they're allowed to be there whatever how would we know that right, right. so you're right on that in this particular case again because this just happened over and over we've talked to them and they said yep anybody there i want you to ask them to leave no one can be on the property overnight so we've, we've dealt with it so so it is- but what's the time you know what like overnight what's that that means to me that means overnight right. like th- throughout the night overnight camping that's you know that's what like, it yeah, insinuates like the, to me the hours right i've there. i've been here for not even an hour i pulled up when some other cops pulled up um and, and so i've i've been maybe been here two hours because okay. i walked my dog i walked down to the gas station you know i had a, a sandwich uh, you know, got my dog some food and water, right. you know, so I've been here maybe, maybe two hours. So, you well, know, I, I haven't been here overnight. I, I have legitimate business here. I tried to explain that. Well, and, I should clarify. I think I misspoke. Um, it's not overnight, like the entire night. What they're saying is from, and I don't know the exact hours because we don't even start looking to about 10 p.m. But let's say from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. They're saying we don't want people in our lot from 10 to 6. Now, it might be but until you and when you when you try to enforce laws based on that, you would want to clarify and, <laughs> and, and not use conjecture. Well, yeah. I know. But what I'm saying is, I know it. What is this? One a.m. That's what they're talking about. I know that. So that's a fair. That's a fair. Yeah. If it was. Yeah, you're right. If it was nine thirty p.m., I'd maybe be like, you know, I don't know. We'll give them time. It's a little early. <laughs> So we usually wait till like 10, 11, you know, we would get, right. and then again, I don't know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever. But in the middle of the night, that's when, if we see people, they've said, please ask to move them along. They're trespassing. We don't want them here. That's, that's what I was doing. It's okay. private property. They've said that. I wasn't lying about that. Like I said, I know her name. They're doing a, it's supposed to be like, they're trying to get like a pickleball place going. And so I saw that. Uh, yeah. So they've, they've applied for, you know, permits with the city and everything. So I, I happen to know I've talked to the person. So right. anyway, I'm not lying about any of that. I right. promise. I, I fair, so fair, all I, I was going to do is say, "Hey, can you me. just move on? They don't want you here." But I get it. Yeah, so, I, I'm not. I'm not really your problem, man. I don't so think you are. I, I like. I, I'll even pick up whatever trash that he was assuming is mine. Oh well, it's just um, a bag under here. But. All right. Yeah, I I don't mind picking up. Okay. I, I often <laughs> pick up trash around just because you know. It, I feel like it's part of my responsibility. It makes me feel better to be in a cleaner place. And it, it just makes me feel good to do a good deed. Well, awesome. Well, so um, yeah, I'm just not who you got to worry about, man. And if you, you know, you, you, if you're really concerned about me having warrants and stuff, man, we can go down that route. I'm happy to be reasonable with you. But look, man, I don't. I'm clean and clear. You know, I 
So you you really I'm not I'm not the one you gotta worry about. I, I get it, I, man. I'm just trying to protect my privacy. I'm trying to stand on what's true and right. Okay. And you know, look, man, I I just bought this vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. So you seem like a fairly uh, educated man. Do you mind if I ask what you do? Uh, well, like I, you know I had a career. I was in a bad motorcycle wreck. I lost my career. Oh, uh, yeah, Sorry I didn't walk that. on my own power for a couple years. It took me a while to recover, and and <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I've, uh, you know, I've come a long ways, but I got a long ways to go. I still have some struggles. It's <laughs> still, um, you know, yeah. yeah, you're doing okay though. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing great. I mean, as far as psychologically, <laughs> you know, emotionally. Uh, obviously, you can see I got plenty of things. I got food. Hey, chill. Come on, man. Give it up. What uh, What can we do to help? You need some water, man. I know you don't have any water bottles up here. I got a bunch. Of no, I. I I'd like one. I'm good. I got. I got a massive refrigerator oh, right there. It's cold. Well, besides, I think we're making progress. Can we do anything to help? No, man. Thanks. I appreciate the offer. Okay. I really. I feel that's sincere. And uh, yeah, everything I told you is 100 percent true. I promise. No, I. I, I I've definitely changed my perspective to some degree, but you know, I, I okay, you know, would I, you like it if I left you with a card that has some of the resources just in case you? you no, know. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need any okay. resources. I'm fully self-sufficient, independent, whatever you want well, to call it. Um, I'm gonna give you my name. That'd be great. Just, I'm, a, I'm gonna have to write it down. All right. But look, I don't know if you can see Morris, my name. Yeah. I want you to know I'm I, I'm yeah. out of business card. So get no worries, out. man. I'm gonna write it down. My badge number and everything. Cool, cool. It's it's me. Well, maybe I could send you some accommodations for not pressing me too hard and no, I, just I being reasonable. What you did last time, just write it on the yeah, back okay. Of just so that way we can. Uh, so he's not out of card. So cool, this man. is his card, and then I'm gonna write my information on the back. Right on. Thank you, man. Um, and now you know before you drive away though, you gotta uncover the plate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, let me jot this stuff down for you. And I gotta go straight to the PD and get more cards. Yeah, we've been busy tonight in this little section. Giving out a lot of cards. So my name and my badge number. So it says Ryan Morris, 408. I don't know if you can see my badge yeah, in this yeah, slide. Yeah, yeah. It says 408. Right on. It says Morris. <laughs> I just, you know, you're skeptical. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. That's him. I, I appreciate you, man. I'm glad we kind of got through that. All right, thanks, All right, Ryan. I, I would get, shake your hand if that's okay. But I'll just leave it as it is. And I'm gonna ask you: Can I get your name so that uh, other officers, anything? I'm like, yeah, I know him. I dealt with him. Yeah, and, I'll give you. I'll give you the first name. It's Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah. Can I look at your license plate, Mitchell? Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna volunteer that. <laughs> well, what I mean is, it's covered. Yeah. Can I can I look at look at if it? If you want to stay, if you want to stalk me, and, you know. No, and, and, I just want to. So, like, let's say another shift. You know, there's 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 other shifts. If they come on and they say, "Oh man, we ran into this guy in the parking lot," and you know, blah blah blah, I'm gonna go, "Oh, you know what? I know who you're talking about. He's he's cool. Like, I've talked to him." If you really want to know who I am, you can ask uh, you can ask the county manager uh, of Broomfield, Jen Hoffman. I don't know who that is. Well, you, you can contact her and ask her who Mitchell is. What was her name? Uh, Jen Hoffman. Is she going to be mad at me for calling her? Uh Well, she might. She'll she'll tell you I stand my ground. Okay, I'm not going to call her tonight. Right. Um, um, but, yeah, Federal Heights, you can you can ask them, man. I well, If you I do me Mitchell, wrong, I'll hold you accountable. How will they know? Can I at least get your last name? I don't have a last name. I'm not going to play that game, man. I, I thought we were past all that. Okay, well, that's fine. I, I, you understand that. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get jurisdiction, and what, you're trying no, no, you're no, trying to run me through the system. And what like I said. Mean, jurisdiction. I, you, I don't think you're using that right. How am I trying to get jurisdiction? What do you mean by that? Right. So, I mean, if you really want to get into it, the corruption, and most people don't. I won't push it. Right. It, I, I wasn't. I, 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 thought, I thought we were past. I'm not trying to trick you with anything. Right, but to, trust that I, mean, I don't have any warrants. Trust that, I do, I do. I all right. Because you. you're not going to just tell me you volunteer, which a minute ago you did volunteer. Look, I, I'm live that. on the internet. What it does is it creates a public record. So when you run me through the system, people can find where I'm at and uh, well, through public records. I don't know what you're talking about because we, we run you through what's called NCIC, CCIC. 
You maybe know what that is. Yeah, that's I a do. law enforcement. Yeah. It's ran. It's, it's the national by CDI, system. The Carl Beer Investigation. Yeah. So it's nothing to do with like the internet and people tracking you. Now it's law enforcement tracking you. Yes. There's a record that I. Well, run it North. creates a public record, is what it does. And you said something about it. And, and there are sleuths on the internet that go and. Okay. And, and even me, you yeah. know, because I, I stand up. For what's true and right, and, that. and that's not a popular that. thing in today's world. Um, well, it's good as long as we'll, we'll agree that one thing is you understand, you know, the phrase reasonable, articulable suspicion, right? Yep, RAS. So, you, we have that that you're trespassing, and therefore, we could demand your ID, your name, your date of birth, all of that. I'm not going to do it because I think we made a lot of progress, and you're leaving, and that's all I was going to ask anyway. Yeah, but as long as you understand. For maybe if you have another interaction with a police officer, if we have that reasonable suspicion. Now, if we don't have that, we can't. Well, demand- we would have to get into the technicalities of whether or not you truly have the guardianship, you know, o- over this property to enforce that without a complaint. Right. Okay. Um, I, I'll, 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 as they say, I'll skip to that. I'll agree. But it, in this case, we do. It, and I know that. So we do have reasonable well, suspicion. Well, can you, you won't even give me that name. So, and. Well, I, you wouldn't it, want me giving somebody your name. Well, here. if you're going to, yeah. I, you want me to give you my name? Why wouldn't you give me her name? Because she's not a cop. Okay, well, she is inf- She is dealing with cops. Well, I bet to- you could look it up. I she mean- has a contract with you, no, obviously. With me? Well, that's what you just said. You have the guardianship. You have trusteeship over this property. There's not a contract. Okay, well, so what What grounds are you trying to enforce this reasonable, articulable suspicion on? I guess once you would want to call it a verbal contract. There's not a written contract. Well, you're going to have to show that, um, you, you know. And, we can, we can and, show that. What I'm saying is just please understand when the cops have reasonable suspicion that somebody's committed a crime, we can demand their ID. You can Maybe you can disagree with it. You're like, no. You well, gotta- maybe we're disagreeing on what I, – I don't disagree with that part. Maybe okay. we're disagreeing on the fact that – you have reasonable, articulable suspicion. Right, but you don't know that. We do. That's the thing. You, you don't. You, you don't. You that. haven't articulated that. But we don't have to. Not to it, it, It's to reasonable, judge. articulable suspicion. To judge. Okay. Yes. That's the key here. I've dealt with this with people. They, well, people you, are, just, you just articulated everything, and you couldn't articulate that aspect of it. So well, now you're you. saying you don't have to. Let me tell you. Can I tell you? <laughs> so just be on, if you're going to be honest, and are you going to play these little trickery loophole games? You know, that's why I can't trust you people. You're killing me. Can I, can I explain? Yeah, I'll, I'll I think there's I'll a yield. misconception out there that reasonable, articulable suspicion means the cops need to explain it to the person they're in contact with. That is not the case. Well, I so think... Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, we have to have a reasonable, articulable suspicion or probable cause, whatever we're talking about, right? We have to have that, and we have to be able to explain that to a judge, not to the person we're in contact with, but to a judge. And I don't, I don't know if people understand that. I think there's some misinformation on that. So I'm just telling you, that's how it works. You can research it. I know you will. We don't have to explain to you we have reasonable suspicion. We have to explain that to a judge in a court, right? Well, I'm technically, I, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a law-abiding man. I'm a, I'm a man that follows the laws, um, you know, uh, and I, I'm a, you know, I just, I'm not a part of your legal society. So, I mean... I know. Really, if you want to, if you want to well, just get down to it, I just asked you to articulate it. You know, I didn't did say I? you had to. Um, I you know, I did. did I do? I mean, I did articulate it. Nah, I, I, I mean, it would be for a judge to decide. Um, I, I, decide? it would be for a judge to decide. I'm not the judge. I'm not Jesus. I'm just a man. Okay. You know, so right. you yeah. know, I'm just giving you my perspective. Like, I don't think I've done anything wrong. And I can stand on that. Um, I, I can stand on it all the way to the end. Okay. But at the, you know, I just, uh, I don't think you have reasonable or articulable suspicion. I, like I said, I, no, it, it, to be trespassing, you have to be asked to leave. That's not true. Yes, it is true. Yeah. Uh, where's well, the sign? Where's it posted? Well, I think those are good arguments. Is this not true in your legal society? Well, I think those are good arguments. You're 17 years on the force, well, man. What I'm saying is... All right, does it not have to be posted, or do I not have to be informed, asked to leave, no, in order to be trespassing? 
I think those are good arguments. I, I, but, I'm not asking you what your opinion is on my opinion. What's your opinion? The, the owner of this property has previously said they don't want anyone here overnight. Okay, well, they need to post overnight. that. That needs to be posted. Well, I don't know. I, you're, 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 I actually enjoy talking to you, man. I you're enjoy good. talking to you, you're man. Good. I appreciate you tolerating my emotions okay. and passion. We're doing good. Yeah. We're doing good. I, you know. I'll take a look around. Nah. But, hey, we're going to get out of here. All right, brother. Um, you what? Are you, uh, you don't have to tell me. Are you going to, uh, can I ask you this? Are you going to leave? Yeah, I'm just going to finish up my business okay. and get out of my way. I'm not going to rush or okay. anything, but yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to post up and take a nap or anything. I'll All get right. out of here. Any more questions for me? No. All right. Good talk. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, Morris.